Hello, and welcome to our tech tip on the installation and commissioning of our new Sunny Boy 1.5-2.5. All right, let's start by taking a look at what's included in the scope of delivery. First of all, we have the quick installation guide, which makes it easy for you to get started. Then there's a little bag of parts you need to complete the installation. Here we have DC connections, AC connections, and also optionally, the PE connection. Here's the cover of the inverter. Later, you'll feed the AC cable through this, and optionally, the Ethernet connection cable. And, of course, the inverter itself. That's everything in the scope of delivery. Now let's take a look at how easy it is to attach the device to the wall. We've already given you two screws for this. That's all the screws you need. Insert them side by side, 240 millimeters apart. You can check with a level to be sure they're straight horizontally. Once they're in place, it's very easy to mount the Sunny Boy 2.5 inverter. I suggest that you hold it at a bit of an angle and look in from the side. This makes it easy to hang it on the screws. As you can see, no problem. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the connections for the inverter. First, let's take the AC cable. We've already prepared it for you. All the cables are stripped as far up as they need to be. That means we can get right to work. Hand tighten the swivel nut and seal in the cable here. And now we can go ahead and pass the AC cable through the cover of the inverter. When that's done, we take the green AC connector and insert the cable on the other side. Once I've inserted all the cables into the AC connector, I can also take the AC connector itself and plug it directly into the inverter. One click and we're done. As soon as I've done that, I can go ahead and put the cover of the inverter in place. It works best if you hold it at a bit of an angle. which I find makes it much easier to put it on the inverter. Now you're ready to fasten the whole thing in place using a torque screwdriver. All right, now the cover is attached where it belongs. I would then go on to tighten all the screws. A little tip here, it's best to tighten the center screw first, then the one on the left, and then the one on the right. This pulls it into place nice and straight. Now attach the seal, together with the swivel nut. And we're done with this step as well. Now we're ready to connect our PV array to the inverter. The first step is to remove the protective cap from the DC connection on the inverter. Then we can take the pre-assembled cable, the DC cable, and click it right in. Anklicken. 
And now the PV array is also connected to the inverter. The Sunny Boy 2.5 is now fully wired. We're ready to go on to the final step of the commissioning. On that note, we hook up the power to the PV array. Next, we also close the circuit breaker on the AC side. Now the LED is blinking green, which tells us that DC voltage is available and the inverter is ready for feed-in. Next, you can activate the wireless LAN feature of the Sunny Boy 2.5 using our famous dock knocker. This gives you the ability to connect directly to the inverter via a smartphone, tablet, or of course your home network. In this case, I'm just going to use a smartphone. Of course, you have to activate WLAN on your smartphone as well. Then you can search for and go directly to the inverter. The inverter makes contact with SMA, and then you need the serial number, which of course you can find on the type label itself. When you have made the connection and entered the standard password, you have the option of selecting the inverter directly in your web browser at the IP address 192.168.100.1. This takes you to the home screen, from which you can enter all the remaining settings. And that's it for the installation and commissioning of our new Sunny Boy 1.5-2.5.